Today, let's build a basic API using Node.js and Express. What is Node.js? Node.js is an open source cross-platform backend JavaScript runtime environment used to build backend servers, applications, and a lot more. Express, it is a backend web application framework for Node.js. It is a module that will help us to build backend APIs very easily. Today's goal is to build simple endpoints with different method types, such as get, post, delete, and put. Once we finish the course, we would be creating these endpoints that we could access through our tools. Let's look at our dependencies today. We need a text editor such as a notepad, Atom, Visual Studio, or any other text editor. We need Node.js. Node.js could be installed by going through this site, nodejs.org, where you could find various packages, various means through which you can install it. And then we need an, an NPM. You could install NPM from this location. NPM is a node package manager, which would be used to manage node modules within our application. Postman. Postman is a tool that will help us to execute our APIs or to create requests and fetch the responses from the server using this tool. Let's build the application now. I have opened my Visual Studio code and currently I am in a folder called explain001. Let me verify whether I have node and npm installed. I could verify them using the command node-v, which would show us the version of the node that is installed on the machine. Similarly, we could verify npm tool by typing in npm hyphen v, which will give us the version of the node package manager. Once these two are verified, I'll try to start an application or initialize a project by typing in npm in it. This tool will ask a couple of questions to build the package or the application that we are going to build. First, it would ask us the package name. Currently, it is taking the default package name as the directory that where we are working on. Currently, I am in the directory called explain001. That is the reason it is showing package name as explain. If you would like to override that, you could type in the package name. If not, you can just hit enter and it would ask us the version number. Version num number, it is taking the default as 1.0.0. I'll just leave as is. And description, I could type in some description related to this package. Entry point, entry point is the file that would be executed uh, when, when it starts the application. So currently it is taking the default as index.js. You could override it with main.js, app.js, or anything else. So I would just leave it as index.js. Test command, this is used for test, uh, for executing your tests. And get repository, I'm not providing anything as of now. So it'll ask for keywords. Keywords, you could specify certain keywords for the search author you could provide a author details or an email here i'll provide it as explained in the license and then it would ask whether the information that you have provided is okay if not you could re-edit and modify it or else you could hit enter and then it would create a new file called package.json this package.json will have all the details related to this project that we have created. Now, let's try to install our first module called Express.
to install any module, there is a command called npm install and you need to specify the module express.js express and whether you would like to save it to your package.json or not. By providing this, it will install the required packages and it would update the package.json with the dependencies as shown above. Currently, it is taking the latest version as 44.17.3. If you want, you could specify the version while installing the package. Next, let us create a new file called index.js. So I'll go back to this and I'll create a new file called index.js. Once you have created index.js, the first thing that I would like to do is import express. I'll say const express equals require and the package name. This is for importing. And next, I would create an application using express by initializing express. Next would be, I need to create a port number. So I'll create the port number as 3000. And now let's create the server and start listening on port 3000. Let's do it by typing in dot listen and we need to pass port number and the method that would be executed after listening. Here, once the server has started, it would execute this anonymous function and it would print a statement saying listening on the port that we are triggering. This is for running the application. And now let's build our methods. The first method that I would like to build is app.get and the endpoint that I would like to trigger is slash get. And then this function will have request and response. This would be executed once this endpoint is called. And then we send back a response as I am get from explain. So this is the method. This is the first method that we have built. App.get slash get slash get is the endpoint. And there are two parameters. One is a request parameter. You could access all the parameters or all the details that you send in a request using this object. And the response is the one that would be sent back to the client or the requester with this data. So currently I'm just sending it back as simple string. Now let's create a post method. This would be same as get, but we would be using post similarly. I am from post. Similarly, we would have delete, delete is the endpoint and delete from explain. So I have created three methods, one for get, post, delete. Similarly, you could create for put, 
or patch or other method types. These are basic method types in a in a in HTTP. Okay, now let us see how it works. So if you go to your terminal, let me clear the console and now type in note index.js. Once you type in, it will print the statement listening on 3000. This is the method that was executed and it is waiting for your request. So we have built these three APIs. So let's test these APIs using Postman. Okay, let's go back to Postman. So this is the Postman that I have. Let's create a new request with get. So these are the different method types that we have. So we have implemented get, post, and delete. Let's try to fetch this data using get. I'll hit send. So this is the response that I got from this method get. Similarly, if you would like to change this to post and try to hit it, you will get an error saying that there is no get method with this because we are trying to hit this endpoint, but the method type is get. So you need to change this to post. Once you change it to post and hit it again, you would get the response uh, as expected. I am post from explain. Similarly, you could try delete. So if you hit delete, it would complain saying that cannot delete post. That means there is no endpoint with delete method. So you need to change this to delete and try it. So you would find this here. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you, everyone.